Consider that 60 to 70 percent of all chemically produced products call for chlorine and caustic soda in their production cycles. You've got the backbone of the chemicals industry right there. We at Bayer have developed a prototype of a fusion electrode, an electrode that forms the core of this oxygen depolarized cathode technology. It allows us to save 30% of our electricity. 30% if you look at Germany represents about 1% of all power consumed nationwide. That's roughly the power used by a major metropolis like Cologne. That's considerable and it's one way in which we can contribute to the energy transition and climate protection. I joined Bayer relatively late at the age of 42 after working in nuclear engineering. But I happened to know the deputy CEO rather well from the managing board and I asked him once, what am I supposed to be doing? He said, make chlorine more economical. Okay, I said, that's a clear-cut assignment. And that's how we built our first fuel cell. We didn't yet have the electrode to do this. Someone in the company was able to make electrodes, but only for sensors. So we took that electrode and recreated it to be the size of a human palm, built it into the fuel cell, powered it up, and lo and behold, it worked. This process was developed by Bayer Material Science in cooperation with Tussenkrupp Uder Chlorine Engineers GmbH. It allows us to substitute electrolyzers in existing chlorinators, thereby retrofitting them from the conventional technology to this oxygen depolarizing cathode. It's also important to show that the previously existing electrolyzers can be retrofitted, that we don't have to build whole new ones. Instead, we just have to modify half of it on the cathode end, and then we can continue operating the electrolyzer. We have had a pilot system running in India with Tussenkrupp, our primary cooperation partner, for more than two years now. And we've made our first sale in China. We manufactured the electrodes for it, and we expect that plant in China to begin operating by the end of this year. If you develop a technology that is especially energy efficient, that is one of the main factors that can drive this kind of technology forward. This is my step into the future.